Remember the application we have created in the last episode, a blank application? We will make sure we have understood everything and make some changes, add some components. It's worth mentioning that React Native is a framework to build mobile apps. There are a lot of types of mobile apps, like games, simple and complex apps. If you are building your app, you need to organize it, for example, using layers, depending on the architecture you are using. In the mobile world, there are a lot of architectural patterns, like MVVM or even MVC. You need to have in mind these things when you start building your app. We are going to build an app just to say if a person is tall or not. Let's create a folder called Models. And create a model called Person. This will represent our data. A person has name and height. We will also have a method called isTall. This method will return a string. If the person's height is greater than 200 cm, we will say the person is tall, otherwise they are not tall. Let's export that. Everything in the person class is related to the person. But we have some logic that is not too much related. The method is tall. In this case, to say if a person is tall or not, this logic should probably be in our other class, not in the model class. We may have something like that, person decorator, and we pass a person. This is generally what we call a decorator pattern. And it's kind of nice to separate the parts that are just concerning it with the view. However, we'll keep it like this because it's just a simple example. Let's go to our index.ios. It looks like that. Let's change a little bit the random method. Removing some text from here so it looks like that. Without the text we have just removed. We are going to import the person, the model we have just created. And here, we are going to use the person. So we are going to create a person, and let's call this person Josh. And the height will be 209. If you check the simulator, we will see the same thing as before, because we are not yet using this person. Let's use this person here in our random method person.name and if we refresh we can see Josh. Let's see if Josh is tall or not. If you use the method is tall, so it will be person.is tall, we see Josh is tall. Remember the is tall method is just a return for our method that is just a string. If you change the height for for example something less than 200, we will see Josh is not tall. Remember, you can also put this function install in our component, but we will not do this for the moment. Now you know how to make an app using some files in different places. Hope you enjoy it.